Iliotibial band syndrome is inflammation and thickening of the iliotibial band, which result from excessive friction at the iliotibial band slides over the lateral femoral condyle. The iliotibial band is a thick band of fascia that extend along the lateral thigh from the iliac crest to the knee. It inserts into the girdis tubicle of the tibia. It is a continuation of the tensor fascia lata muscle. The tensor fascia lata muscle arises from the outer surface of the anterior iliac crest between the tubercle of the iliac spine and insert into the iliotibial tract. The gluteus maximus also inserts into the iliotibial band. Function of the iliotibial band. The iliotibial band extend, abduct, and laterally rotate the hip. It also contribute to the lateral knee stabilization. With iliotibial band syndrome, the iliotibial band is repeatedly shifted forward and backwards across the lateral femoral condyle. Impingement usually occurs around 30 degrees of knee flexion. There may be a swelling and tenderness and crepitus over the lateral femoral condyle. The condition of iliotibial band syndrome around the knee most commonly occurs in runners, cyclists, and other athletes undergoing exercise with repetitive knee flexion and extension. Just be aware that the iliotibial band inserts into Gerdes tubercle and the pain is located proximal to Gerdes tubercle. The pain may be reproduced by doing a single leg squat. Predisposing factors Foot and knee malalignment, such as foot pronation and varus knee. Prominent lateral condyle. Tight iliotibial band. Leg length discrepancy. Weak abductors of the hip. Poor shoe wear, training errors. With some provocative examinations such as the Ober test, which is a clinical test used to assess tightness of the iliotibial band. The patient will lay on the side with the affected leg up. The examiner will slowly abduct the leg with the knee in flexion and the hip in full extension. When the IT band is tight, abduction of the leg will be limited as the leg will not touch the other knee and the test is considered positive. Noble test. Noble test is performed by the examiner placing the knee into flexion and putting the thumb over the iliotibial band prior to its insertion into the girdis tubercle of the lateral tibia. With pressure placed into the IT band, then extend the leg. If the pain is felt at the lateral femoral condyle with extension of the leg, then this is a positive noble test. Imaging. X-ray may not be helpful. MRI may show edema into the area of the iliotibial band. You may find a thickened iliotibial band. Treatment. Usually non-operative treatment, like rest and ice, physiotherapy, which is very important, stretching, proprioception, and the improvement in neuromuscular coordination, training modification, better shoe wear, consider injection, it may be helpful. The majority of patients will get better in about four to eight weeks with non-operative treatment. Surgery is the last resort. Surgical excision of the scarred, inflamed part of the iliotibial band or excision of a cyst or a bursa. Z-plasty is rarely done.
Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.